So now let's take a look at how symbols work in Toon Boom Harmony. So uh, to work with symbols, I'm going to get a brush right here and I'm going to start making a regular animation. So I'm going to uh, take something like this uh, green right here and I'm going to select something like a dark green color. So I'm going to do a simple grass-like animation. So I'm going to go over here onto the first frame and I'm going to draw something like this and something like this and something like this. So now what I want to do is I want to make it as if the grass is moving. So I'm going to go on towards the right. I'm going to turn on the onion skinning right over here. So once you do that, I'm going to uh, draw this out just like that on top of it as if the grass is moving a bit so slightly. So I'm going to go to the other frame, make it so as if the grass is moving a bit towards the right again. And now I want the grass to move back. So I'm just going to increase the range of uh, onion skinning uh, that it actually sees. So I'm going to go over here so you can see that this is the grass again. And now I'm going to draw it back again. So just like that, I'm going to draw it right back over here, just like that, and into around the first frame over here. So just like this, I got something like a grass animation. So I'm going to turn off the uh, onion skinning so that you can actually see the animation now. So if you were to play this, you can see that the grass moving animation actually happens just like this. So I'm going to increase the frame right here. So I need to be sure of the animation. So I'm going to press shift and I'm going to press plus to add in a bit of a frame right over here. So just like that, according to how much exposure I need, I'm going to add in the grass over here, just like this. So once you do that, and if I were to play this, you can see that there's a bit of an animation going on right over there. So frame rate is 24 frames per second, so that's fine. I'm going to work around with as many uh, frames as I want. So let's say I want around one second of animation with the same number of frames. So if I were to play this, you can see that there's a bit of a movement going on right over there. So now what I want to do is I want to convert this into a symbol. So in order to uh, convert this into a symbol, first of all, I'm going to select all of these frames right here. And to convert it into a symbol, I need to press F8 on my keyboard. Once I do that, you can see that it gives me an option to create a symbol. So once you do that, I'm going to say grass animation. So that is going to be my symbol name and I'm going to press OK. So once I do that in the library, you can see grass animation right over here. So if I were to bring it out over here, you can see that the frame is there. But wherever you bring in your grass animation, you can see that the animation starts right from that section. So I'm just going to delete this out. So I'm just going to delete off this layer. Just like that, I'm going to delete off this layer and delete this out as well. My grass animation symbol is here. So where I want the animation, I need to turn off the animate for this one because it might just add in a keyframe. So I don't want any keyframes there. So I'm going to bring in the grass right over here, just like that. And I'm going to just uh, make sure that I'm on the first frame while I'm doing that out. So now what I can do is I can use my transform, keep it anywhere. And there you go, my animation is still there. As you can see, just like that. So there you go. That's my animation right over here, just like that. And as I deselect it, you get the color back. So now I want to bring a bunch of these grass animations. So I'm going to bring this out over here. You can see that there's another layer of grass animation. I can resize this out as well. I'm going to hold shift and there you go. So there's another grass right here. And you can see that the animation sticks in because this is symbol. So another one over here, just like that. I'm going to resize this out as well, keep it somewhere. So I need to make something like a feel. So a bit of a big grass over here, a bit of a dark grass over there. So that's fine. So just like that, a bit of a grass over here, a bit of a grass over here. So you can see that the animation is there. So there's a bit of an animation on all of the grasses right over here. So I can move it all together. And there you go, you got the animation. But what I want to do is I want to create a, ver a variable animation where there's a bit of a difference. And let's say if I want to do any change, I can just uh, go over here onto uh, my grass right over here on any of the grass. And I can actually go over here and edit this out. And to edit it out, I'm going to just select any one of these grass. It doesn't matter which one. 
and I'm going to press Control E on my keyboard. So what's, once I do that, it actually takes me into the symbol's timeline, as you can see. So if I were to rotate this around and then resize it, you can see that the changes happens in all of uh, the grass right there, just like that. So if I were to go over here and change the frame out, so uh, if I were to go over here and then uh, if I were to go to the selection, if I were to select this, move it around, you can see that all of the other frames actually change out just like that. So I can just go to the top and there you go, the change has been applied. So you can see that there's the animation and so forth. So now to create a variation among uh, different keyframes, what I can actually do is I can go back on to uh, Windows and I can go to X seat. So I can actually go over here and see uh, in detail on how you can work with this. So just like that, I drag in the X seat over here, just like this. So uh, just kept it there, all right. And what you can do is you can actually select out the frames right here, create a copy if you want to increase the level of animation. And I, I can just increase this level because I'm just copying the numbers and uh, it just copies out the frames, doesn't matter. So if I were to copy this out, you can see that I can actually increase the frame of each of these. So you can see that that is how you can work around with it. If you were to press minus right over here, you can see that you can change around the frames over here, just like this. And at the end, what you can do is you can just go over here on to one, two, three, four, copy this out and paste those frames at the end right here. So number six at the end over there, so number six and over here, just like this. So over here, I can press the minus key and there you go. I can change the frame, the starting frame right over there, just like this. Minus, change the starting frame and change the starting frame over here as well, just like that. So just press minus and there you go. So if you have different frames, you can see that there's a bit of a change in animation going on right there. Gives it much more dynamic to play around with. So. I can actually go over here on to different layers right here. Let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to select these and I'm going to just add it in over here, just like that, add it in over there and over here as well. So you can see that the variation is there. So now what happens is that if I were to actually go back uh, and if I were to play this animation, you can see that there's the change of animation in all of it as if the grass is flowing around just like that. So that is how you can actually utilize symbols to copy out animation and then edit it. And then you can actually do very uh, complicated detail animation by just repeating out the frames just like that, as you can see. So that is how you can use symbols inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.